All right, so I need to know who snitched about vegan gains. This is a word. This is a world premiere. This is a word. Yeah, so anyway, this is another quick check in, you guys. I really wanted to make a snappy video for you guys today. Um, and maybe I'll talk about some of the things that were on my mind. But before I do jump into that, I wanted to point out the fact that Vegan Gaines left a comment on my video about him telling me that he might be making a response video because he found my video cringy. Vegan Gaines found my video cringy. I don't even want to get started with that. Another thing is that a couple of people have talked to me about Joe Vegan and wanted to get a comment from me about Joe Vegan being not vegan anymore. And well, you know, it's pretty sad. You know, one of the things that he talked about was that vegans weren't showing enough concern for some of the other issues, like just focusing so much on veganism, but not seeming to understand that there are all kinds of issues that we have to be addressing. And I found myself thinking, is Joe Vegan talking about intersectionality? I was a little insulted because he is painting a picture of the YouTube vegan community, focusing on the big YouTubers. I know that Joe Vegan knows about dozens and dozens of vegan YouTubers who have a, an extremely positive message, who are really there trying to do their best to shift the image of veganism so that it is one where people see us as certainly concerned about things outside of simply just the animals, really embracing other social justice issues. Pop culture, you have vegans who are cooking. You have all kinds of vegans who are out there, you know, really spreading the message of veganism in a really positive way. And for Joe Vegan to kind of just throw us all under the bus in one fell swoop was a little bit disappointing, especially as someone who himself is trying to take a higher moral stance. So, okay, I'm just gonna give you guys this one really quick. There's been a fair amount of talk about pets recently and I'm back in Brooklyn and you know Jack's here hanging out and I'm thinking about my relationship to this animal who basically just walked into my life and I'm thinking about vegan gains and their dog and thinking about you know things that other people have said. Mad Blender made a really great video just talking about pets and the way we might see ourselves as providing a life but understanding that we're depriving them of their their natural existence. And then I started thinking to myself, you know, we've domesticated these animals to serve functions for us, to feed us, to entertain us, to provide us with comfort, and have in many ways removed them from their own nature. We have these animals operating against what is natural. And then I started thinking, don't we domesticate ourselves? Don't we find ourselves operating outside of what is natural? And sometimes it's to our own benefit, but then other times it's in ways that are extremely detrimental. It may or may not be natural for humans to consume animals as food, but even if it is natural, not to the extent that we do it, not in a way that makes us sick, to the extent that it makes us sick, we also find ourselves dressing in ways. This jacket maybe makes me look more presentable to whom? To a group of people who don't really have my interest in mind. Just something to think about how when we start talking about the way that we treat animals and the way that we kind of remove animals from their own nature, let's look at the ways that we remove ourselves from our own nature. There are people who will say that we have a much improved, say, quality of life, right? So we have all of these modern conveniences. But then we turn around and go and work out in gyms and do all kinds of things because our lives are so sedentary because of the modern conveniences that we enjoy. It just seems to me that there might be a more cohesive way to live where, yes, we could enjoy a greater quality of life, we could live in ways that are more healthy, but somehow we could add back in some of the things that just made living our lives enough to keep us active. Things like maintaining our homes, maintaining our spaces. Instead of mowing lawns and putting weed killer everywhere, maybe we could plant food and 
tend gardens and do other things that get us outside, at least when the weather permits. So much of our economy seems to be based on paying others to do things that we feel are beneath us to do for ourselves or that it is more convenient for us to have others do. And then we have to spend more time working for someone else to be able to afford to pay for these conveniences. There just seems to be some lack of logic there. This isn't something that I've given a ton of thought to, but I did think that it might make for some good food for thought on a day when I didn't much feel like doing a lot of research or spend a lot of time editing a video. I don't know, should I be worried about vegan gains? Should I hide out somewhere, or like get into a witness protection program or something? That's it for this video. Like it if you like it, share, comment, subscribe. This is Rich signing off. Love yourself. Peace. And I love myself.